drinking two fizzy sodas a week can have this shocking effect on your body. Fizzy drinks are widely enjoyed across the world, but they're not as sweet as they may seem. New research suggests that drinking just two cans of pop a week is enough to raise your risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease and stroke. Guzzling more than two sugar-laden drinks a week can increase the risk of type 2 diabetes and glugging just one can raise blood pressure. Researchers say the drinks are energy-dense leading fizzy drink fans to unwittingly drink excess calories and gain weight because of it. The study investigated the link between sugar-sweetened drinks and metabolic syndrome the cluster of risk factors that raise the chances of developing heart problems and diabetes. Frequent intake of these beverages contributes to the onset of the metabolic syndrome, diabetes and hypertension Professor Fadi E. Lessop The risk factors include fat bellies, high levels of fats in the blood known as triglycerides, elevated blood pressure, high fasting blood sugar and reduced good cholesterol levels. Scientists found enough evidence to prove a link between drinking sugary soda and weight gain as well as the eventual risk for developing metabolic syndrome. The team reviewed 36 studies involving people who drank more than five fizzy drinks a week and investigated their cardiometabolic risk, chances of having diabetes, heart disease or stroke. Most of the studies supported a link between sugar-sweetened beverage consumption and the risk of developing the metabolic syndrome. The study's senior author Professor Fadi E. Lessop, of Stellenbosch University in South Africa, said, excess sugar consumption has surfaced as one of the most prominent global dietary changes during the past few decades and is considered a primary driver of cardiometabolic diseases onset. Our analysis revealed that most epidemiological studies strongly show that frequent intake of these beverages contributes to the onset of the metabolic syndrome, diabetes and hypertension. The professor added, some of the findings also show that regular sugar-sweetened beverage intake can alter glucose handling and insulin sensitivity, thereby contributing to the development of the metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes. There is also evidence that frequent sugar-sweetened beverage intake, and particularly fructose, is linked to hypertension and well-known CVD risk factors. However, some studies report on the lack of negative effects as a result of sugar-sweetened beverage consumption. The findings demonstrate there is a clear need for public education about the harmful effects of excess consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages.